Hello Internet, I'm Dan. And I'm Chaz. And I'm Grant. Welcome to Wine and Serious Business. This is episode 48. We've got something kind of interesting today. Uh, our friend Grant here worked with us. He made kind of his own wine out of grapes that you picked from, from your parents' place, right? That's right. So the grapes that have been growing there for, for decades probably, yeah, right? 15 years. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, long, awesome. long time still, so yeah. it's been growing there for a while. Got some grapes. The grapes are delicious. Part of you the know. AVA, actually. Yeah, actually, that's why they, they are. The old Amity, whatever, right. varietal there, who knows. <laughs> Um, but they were delicious right out of the bucket, so he decided to take the leap, try and make some wine. You've never made wine before, have you? No idea what I'm doing. And we never have. We're intimidated. We were kind of intimidated by it, but it's, it's fun to see. Do some reading, give it a shot, and this is it. It's been sitting back in the, in the, the wine store, which I guess aging gently for, uh, or bottle aging, right? That's right. That's bottle aging. Yeah. <laughs> so, jug aging. Jug aging, nice. <laughs> um, so so this, is, this is the first crack that we decided to share with you guys. It'd be a little, little bit of an interesting episode. So, uh... So yeah, Any, anything else you want to say about? Uh... Well, so I, I love the, these grapes that my parents grow, and my guess was that they were Muscat based upon the flavor, but I've since researched, and I think they're Angelocan. Whoa, which is a eating grape. So, Native no, American no question. Uh, I'm not, not sure. I don't okay. know where they come from. No. Tell us about the alcohol level and like kind of stuff like that, because you monitored this, right? Uh, I, you know, I did a long time ago, but not not now. But it, you got rid of yeah. all of its residual sugar. Like you yes. wanted to stop it at one point. That's right. I was looking for I think one point five. And it went straight to zero so fast that um, oh. it, yeah. So it's crazy we'll yeast see. yeast is going crazy. But I don't think the alcohol is going to be too high. I think it should uh, do the math. It came out around thirteen. Yeah. So not crazy. Let's drink it. All right. All right. Uh, uh, Joy's going to be pouring this thing. Yeah. So there is a local uh, brewery wine making shop uh, nearby that has an incredible selection. I mean, ton, dozens and dozens of different yeast yeast to choose from. Yeah. So pretty cheap. I mean, I went in and got the basic equipment here and. Probably uh, basic yeah. chemicals, closer, a little yeah. closer. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I think I spent maybe about $50 on all this. Basic, nice, and you could make yeah. more wine with what you Oh, yeah, about. I mean, we, you barely touch the, the chemicals that, uh, that you get. It's just little tidbits of each one. And, uh, it's, and there's, of course, lots of information on the internet on how to do it. So, um, I'm, uh, I'm skeptical and leery, but we're going to give it a try. Though. Based on this next year, I might go pick, like I was telling you, I might go pick all my, my, my parents' grapes. And, uh, We'll try this again. It was really exciting to yeah. see like how how cheap and accessible like getting started in this was. It was even easier yeah. than, than I would have expected it to be. So that's cool. that's cool to give the first uh, yeah. try the first one. Yeah, all right. I was hung over and looking up recipes on the internet, and these guys were crushing grapes in the sink, and <laughs> which is a challenge as well to get to crush the grapes and not get right. too much skin. So all right, you guys want to hold it down? Go for it. Yeah. yeah. Ton of oh, junk. Yeah. I'm just going to do it so gently. So if you want to hold it down here, yeah, we got a bunch of sediment in the jug, so we're trying to pour it really gently to not get uh, anything to chew on, just to drink. Um, while we're setting this up, I also want to make the point that, that that we just broke 300 fans recently. That's really exciting. Before episode 50, we're super pumped about that. So we're going to do another prize giveaway. Uh, the way that works, everybody who comments, you know, please answer the question of the day, or really say whatever you feel like saying. But everybody who comments. Between now and the moment that I post the next episode on any of the three sites that I post on Viddler, Facebook, or YouTube, if you get your comment in before we, you know, before we post the next episode, you're going to be on drawing. We're going to randomly determine somebody that's going to get a prize from us, either a bottle of wine, if we can ship it to you, if you're a big age, etc. And if you're in a state that accepts that, or we'll get you a book or some other cool wine-related stuff. So bring on the comments, get some free stuff. Let's get into the wine. Actually, not bad. It looks like a normal one. Looks like Riesling to me. Mm -hmm. It does. <laughs> Beautiful. How would you describe that color? I don't know. Apple juice. Light apple juice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe like light grape juice. Just like uh, Welch's. It smells all right. It does. It's a, a little bit funky. It does smell like uh, apples. Yeah, yeah, apple juice. <laughs> Distinctly. Yeah. Yeah. Apple skins. Yeah. Yeah. And not like crisp green apples. These are, these are like, like ripe apples. Yeah, very, very yeah. light. Apples, but a nice nose, I think. Wow, totally not bad at all. <laughs> we, we all had incredibly low expectations for this. Everything didn't necessarily go according to plan with the no, presentation. No, no. Um, but fun. Wow. Yeah, it's. Uh, I would say it's uh, the tart. It's very dry. Mm -hmm. um, again, green apples. Uh, but the syllables looks nice. It's not like. Bad or too heavy or anything. Like no, that. but it's yeah. present. It, it, yeah. it good good texture to the to the acidity, right? It's not like that heavy gripping acidity that you get sometimes. It does zing it pretty hard in the finish, but not, not too yeah. bad. I like yeah. that. Yeah, some apple peels. Of course, you like that. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, I want a balanced uh, wine. What, what are you going to pair this with? Ooh, I am horrible at pairing wine. Halibut. Yeah. Oh, nice. I like it. Yeah. A nice, uh, a nice rich, fatty fish. Mm -hmm. Something good. Butter. Mm -hmm. Lots of butter. Yeah, man, a little bit of apple juice flavor, mm -hmm. and, and super clean. Yeah, I'm, I'm so is, impressed. It is super clean. You're right about that. Yeah. It's, it's crystal. Mm. For this to come out of three guys having no idea what they're doing, literally crushing grapes in the sink, digging True. through a number of different things, they're like, what do we filter it through? How about the sip? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. How about a bunch of cloth? Ah, oh, this is a mess, too. Right. Like, they're, they're, we were literally stumbling around like fools trying to put this together. The fact that it's actually drinkable. A is exciting for mm -hmm. what's what's possible, what you can do in your homes, and also B depressing for people with enormous facilities that make dramatically inferior wine. True. So I've had wine. Good wine. <laughs> I've had wine that I've paid ten, fifteen dollars for. It's worse than this. Totally. By far. Totally. Yeah. And this is something that I would even consider drinking again. Yeah. You know? yeah. And and check it out. So this was never uh, taken off the leaves, right? It's been sitting on the leaves for what nine months. That's true. Yeah. Something like that. Surely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are we going to call this? Extended to Raj? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. yeah. The Schaefer, Schaefer Estate. Mm. Schaefer, Schaefer Estate. I guess that's done, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there is one of those yeah. already. Uh, somebody came up with a good name for this a while back, and I forgot to write it down. Uh, that's not bad at all. Yeah. Interlocking grapes. Probably. Sure. <laughs> yeah, probably. We'll just score it in. Oh. 86 points? I'm sitting on 84. But yeah, I feel it. It's good. Yeah. yeah. If, you, yeah. if, you, like, if you like a wine with like a ton of acidity. And actually, if you like Alsatian wine, I think yeah. that's that's kind of on that vein. You're exactly right. That is the closest thing I would compare it to is a lot of Alsatian wines. Right. Uh, very the acidity. Very the acidity. Pinot Gris. Yeah. And then some of those like apple, fuller apple flavors, full but not rich apple flavors. True. So, yeah, it's good. Good. No, it's, 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 yeah, it's good. It's very, it's, it's very good. Color is perfect. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who did yeah. you score, Chris? Good. What? Oh, 81. 81 points for Chris. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the mid-year. I'll count 85 right in the middle. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So, it's drinkable. Out of the glass, um, we can get... It's, the, finish is the, is the finish is the only thing that's really the right. notable drawback. And and my guess is that's because of seven leaves all right. through the, the time. Yeah, I think that's what that does. Mm -hmm. gives it that little... Aftertaste. I mm -hmm. think if we'd have uh, taken it off there, I think we'd have uh, moved it up a few points. Huh. And it's, it's certainly exciting for trying this again sometime, okay. right? Like, yeah, it's, it, it's, it motivates you to go out and do it again. You can do this on a first attempt. Uh, one thing I was really worried about was you saw this was not full. Right. Mm -hmm. I was worried all that oxygen in there was going to ruin the wine before it ever came out. It no. didn't. Um, of course, sitting on the leaves and a few other simple things that I, you know, could improve next time. Absolutely. Very doable, very affordable, and fun. Cool stuff. We're doing it again. All right. All right. So, so wrap it up. As always, the guest gets to ask the question. So, what would you like to ask ask the viewers? It's going to be a lot of comments for this because there's the contest associated with it. Oh, excellent. Okay. Well, this is the uh, Tour de France is going on right now. Big fan, watching it every day. Uh, so it's been a little crazy. Uh, Lance crashed three times today. Uh, so the question is, crazy. where's going to land? Where is Lance going to finish? Nice. Total? Is it the whole thing? Overall. Yeah, overall. is he going to finish it all? First, second, third, fifth, tenth? Awesome question. Where is it? Yeah. Where is it going to be? Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next week. Bye.